This is a Google Form. It's pretty much a spreadsheet tool. Students can come in, type information in the fields, press Submit, and it gets collected in a handy-dandy spreadsheet like this. Awesome. But folks have asked me, what if students want to come in and write in their information, and instead of collecting it in a spreadsheet, it gets collected in a Google Doc? Well, now you can. And you do it using an add-on called Form Publisher. I'm going to go to my form and edit it. Now, for my edit view, I find add-ons and select Form Publisher. If I don't see Form Publisher, click Get Add-ons. It's easy to find. I do have it here, so I'm going to go Form Publisher and then Configure. Now this is where I set up the connection between this form and my Google Doc. And that's the first thing you have to do with template. See it says Select. You have to have already created your Google Doc. In this case, I have. And then you press Select. And you use the Google Picker to find it. Here's my effort and motivation. I just click on it, select it. Now here I can change my output. I'm going to call it effort output. And then a destination folder. I'm going to skip it for now, but it's nice to find a place to put it in Drive with a folder. And to the trickiest part of it all, which is variables found in your template. Don't worry, the word variable here just pretty much means placeholder. And what you need to do is say, for this question, what goal did you accomplish using effort, motivation, and persistence? You're pretty much saying, where do you want the information the students type in to go in your doc? So I'm going to copy this whole question as is and go to my doc. Now I want the answer to this one. It's pretty much the thesis, right? I want it to show up right here. So I paste in the whole question. That's not quite enough. I need to let the computer know that this is the question. So I'm going to use a code. I'm going to put two underscores and two hashtags. And at the very end, I give it two hashtags and two underscores. Now when I pop back over here and press refresh, the variable, oh, it's found it. It knows that this question will go wherever I pasted this variable. And I just repeat that process for any of the other questions in my form. So I want my examples. I go and I copy them, the whole thing. I pop back over to Docs. I want it to go here, so my two underscores, my two hashtags, two more hashtags, two underscores. And if I come back and press Refresh, there are my variables. I'll repeat that for all the questions in my form. And I refresh, I now see them all. I want to activate Form Publisher and press Save. Let's test it out. I'm going to click on View Form or just return to my form. I refreshed it real fast just to make sure everything's going to work. And I'm going to fill in some answers. Here's effort. Here's motivation, and goals are awesome. Now I'm going to press Submit, and let's see what happens. My response was recorded, and it was also recorded over here in my spreadsheet. But in addition to that, let's go look in my drive and see what happened. I'll come over to Drive, and I'll look in Recent. Oh, here it is, Effort Output just like I named it with a number at the end. I'm going to open it up. And here's the effort output number two. Here's the thesis I wrote, all my pie baking. And my examples that came through the form are now pasted right and happy with my bullet points. This is all thanks to the magic of the form publisher add-on. If you need additional information, form publisher has a help page. So you can click on Learn More, and it will review this information. In addition, if you forget the special keystrokes, the two underscores and the hashtags, those directions are found on this page. All you got to do is scroll down and find the word pattern. Thanks, and have a great day.